Hello everyone. Welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hari Harma. In this video, let's look into how to create Google Cloud free trial account and receive $300 in credits. With these credits, you can create virtual machines, storage accounts and many more in Google Cloud for 90 days. This video is very important to create any resources or projects on Google Cloud. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Let's get started. So first navigate to the Google search and type Google Cloud free trial and immediately the first link you can click on it and you will be redirected to this page. What you can do now is click on get started for free. So here you need to use your email ID which has never been used. So it is asking two step verification for me. So I have done that in my mobile phone. Now you can see that it is asking to try Google Cloud for free. So here you can see $300 credit for free for the next 90 days. And you need to enter your credit or debit card, but you won't be charged unless you manually activate your full account. So click on agree and continue. So here my address is already taken. So I'll just have to create the payment method. So for you, you might have to enter the address. So I'll use credit card. Now I have entered the credit card details and it will charge 2 rupees. So and it will again uh, revert back the 2 rupees. So you can click on start free. So you need to verify this uh, by finishing this transaction. Now it is asking me a few questions for which I am trying to use like it is a like if it is for startup small company or something like that then I will use select some of them and click on next. Now you can see that 0 out of 25,000 credits has been used which means that your account is activated now and you can use this 25,000 rupees credits and this activate full account is when your trial period ends you have to do that so that whatever the services you are using it will be charged via credit card so right now you don't have to do anything now you can go to scroll below and see various products that you can create which are like resources so if you want to create a database vm or any containerized application, you can do that. Let us do a VM. So click on enable. Once that API is activated, you can get this home page of Compute Engine. If not, you can go to home page of Google Cloud and click on create VM. Then you will be getting this page where you can click on create instance. So you can give an instance name. So I'll be creating an Ubuntu machine. So it is asking region and zone. I can leave as it is. And you can select whatever the series of general purpose with CPU and uh, the computing capabilities. So I can leave as it is. Right now the CPU right now is 1 to 2 vCPU and 4 GB memory. And uh, the provisioning model is standard. And by default, you can see it is a Ubuntu machine. But if you want to change, you can change. And now you can click on create. So it should be having lower case. So that is an error. So I'll try to create it. Now we can see that after two, three minutes, the Ubuntu machine is ran. Now what I can do is I can SSH this. So click on this. It will automatically open SSH in the browser. And if you want to stop this, that, that can also be done. And you can just click here and then stop. So the machine will be in the stop state. And whenever we want to resume it, we can 
click on start our resume we hope this video is informative and has helped you understand on how to start your free google cloud account your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating videos like this so please subscribe to the channel and like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in another interesting video